This is a day in the life of Chiro and Scoop. We're going to take you along for a little ride. We're in the GT4 wannabe. Scoop, come here. We've got some um, something special for someone. And we've got a couple of locations to go to. We're in the GT4 wannabe. Somebody's going to get a 12 set of Krispy Kreme donuts. Package up there. So I hope you've been enjoying the uh, videos, the vlogs we've been doing. Today's a little bit different. We're going to be looking at a venue for a future event. The event pretty much secured. Uh, we're just going to go look at the venue to suss out the layout. But we can't give too much information away about what the event is just yet. Then we're off to somewhere special. And Scoot, you have no idea, because I like to surprise you, as you know. <laughs> but I know you're excited. So literally what we're doing with these videos is taking you out. You see what we get to see, sharing those cars, collections, moments. The last four days have been absolutely bonkers, like some seriously awesome conversations. And I've now got a hypercar um, enclosure with seven hypercars confirmed for Supercar Fest 30th of May. Just get out and enjoy yourselves. So this year is gonna be the year of the petrol head if I have anything to do with it. Right, so day in the life of Chiro and Scoot and now I've jumped on to the camera, but I'm so excited for today. It's like Chiro said, another day absolutely on it, in the Porsche, and we've got the snacks. So, it's a win-win. So we're on the M25 and clearly all these people don't have a nine to five job and they're all making essential journeys. So there's a lot of traffic on the road on the basis that we're in lockdown 3.0 just to cover the uh, proper div disclaimer that I like to put in sometimes on my Instagram or Facebook posts, we are legitimately visiting a venue for a uh, site visit to plan out how the event will work. It's my first opportunity to see the venue and we have paperwork from the studio and I'm not gonna say much more because you don't know where we're going, um, to say that we're going there for the purpose of filming and we're filming a vlog about their location and stuff. So I just, can't get over how much traffic there actually is. So we're here at the Warren Estate and arriving for the very first time. The amount of space for this new event to our calendar is uh, quite spectacular and uh, feel very fortunate to be working with some awesome people that we're gonna introduce in a minute. It's very windy out there, so hopefully we're not gonna have any audio problems but uh, I'm gonna go for a little walk, check out the grounds, plan the event, and give you a bit more information about what it is. So here with Eventive Events and Club in partnership for something extremely special with the Warren Estate. Now we, approached the Warren Estate about hosting a very special event for 2021. Something different, but poignant at this time. We came up with the concept of Ferrari versus Lamborghini. Not as a competition, but as a celebration of both brands and their heritage. So, 25th of July, at the Warren Estate, in these amazing grounds, we're gonna host the Warren Estate Supercar Sunday, featuring Ferrari versus Lamborghini by Event of Events and PetrolHedonism.club. 25th of July, this is truly exciting. Scoop, that's the VIP area just there. So Scoop, while we're out and about, as I said, we're gonna do things like getting the events set up for 2021. And another venue is Studio 434. You seen that over there? Just coming in for storage, getting a little wash. They use snow foam, only snow foam, no uh, brushes or anything like that, and then wash it off. But that's just coming into storage here at Studio 434. If you haven't heard about Studio 434, we're gonna go inside and take a look. Lewis uh, is the manager here, and he looked after the Glado in 2009, 2010 at HRO in Acton. He's moved here, and we can reconnect it about four years ago. Uh, it's just a good old friend. When you see each other, it's like, just the way it always was. So. We're going to go inside, have a look, but petrol ended in 2021. We're going to do a drive from Charnbrook down to Studio 434. We're going to have a tour of this facility, and then we go for a tour for the other facility, 800 cars. We've already seen two ultra-rare Bugattis, a LaFerrari, and some 
absolutely cool works of art, machinery, engineering. 24 Lagondas in the collection, the Wedge 24. Roger Dudding, the boss here, will show you how he made his money in a moment, but let's pop inside, Scoop. Just casually standing next to a Countach and a Dino GTS, but I'm gonna pull a ticket because Google Roger Dudding in the 70s, he invented this machine. Pull a ticket, get your number, wait in a queue, and overnight he made millions. Fantastic story, lovely, lovely gentleman. Met him several times and we're here amongst his personal collection. I think there's only three cars here that aren't his very own cars. And then he has more cars. I think he's bought another 200 cars in the last three years since I first met him. And they're at the other facility. So we're going to keep that facility as a surprise for those of you that come on the drive day with us. But as I said, we'll be looking for a date in April, May to come down here on a Saturday and check out the collection. So here we are at the collection, I've just taken over the mic and we are just greeted by cars upon cars, Ferraris behind me. Uh, this one's coach built by Pinaferina, one of the special editions. You've got the old NSX here. It's just layers and layers of cars. And again, this generation of cars is completely out of my knowledge, but I've got enough to appreciate the amount of stuff here. But out of this whole place, and the amount of cars, there's one car I'd like to show you, as I know a lot about it. And funny enough, this is the car that a week ago I was actually sat in and it was silver and it was the Jaguar XJ220 and believe it or not if you can still hear me if I show you around here don't really know what to say these petrol headers and day trips vlogs are just becoming something that I never thought I'd be able to spend time with cars like this and I think I can actually open the door and show you inside, if I spin the camera around. I mean, when I sat in one last week, imagine trying to put your legs over this. It is literally so hard, but one of the comfiest cars I've actually been in. And my generation, I suppose I would kind of call this, I suppose back in the day it was a supercar, but I'd kind of call it like a hypercar as of just how special rare it is, like over 200 miles per hour. V6, I believe though, V6, I do believe. But the dark blue, I mean, don't think I've seen this problem before. I have seen quite a few and like Chiro and we know in previous logs I keep track of a lot of the cars I see. I don't have track of the XJ220 so that's something I need to look out for but it's just like Zach's garage you've got all this stuff old gaming machines you've got bikes but let's take a little look around at some of the more stuff in this collection. Check out these three. We've got an AC Zagato prototype, and these are so rare. But the blue looks amazing. The Countach next to it, which I've been lucky enough to sit in, can't beat that. And then the yellow Dino, and you hardly see a yellow Dino. I've seen one yellow one actually not long ago in London, but I love it in yellow. I think it looks amazing. It's like Monaco, the place in Monaco where they park so close. But check how cool that is. Right, so while Jerry's talking downstairs, I thought I'd bring you quickly to the second floor. Wow. Like, wow. There is some stuff in here that, again, I won't know the name of because they are so old for me to watch my head. Like these old Jaguars, but how sick is that? Two things that I think are incredible, and the whole place is, but the line of Aston Martin 
Look on this. There's 24 in total in the collection. I mean, that really, you have to think about how, 24. But now the really cool thing is, in the, like the car model section, is in fact a model, or a clay model, of the Lotus Evora. How sick is that? I mean, it is so, we tested it, how heavy it is. Like, it's just a clay model, but I, as a lot of people know, I collect a lot of car models. I think I've just been outdone by, by the likes of this. Absolutely phenomenal a range of models. I mean, I could stare at this all day long. Look at that. But then we move across. This is the bit that I just need to make sure, watch my head, duck and dive. Spin the camera around. I mean, it is phenomenal. And like I was bringing back up again at Zach's garage, we had all like the old gas signs and everything. You can see above me, they've all got the kind of similar uh, bit. But I've been told there's an opening where I might be able to look down on the XJ220. I'm trying to find it, as I think that would look amazing. Uh huh. Found two tractors, but I see an opening. So, if we squeeze past these two tractors, oh. Oh, got a nice Bugatti Veyron. Saw two of them. Oh, my dream car's over here. Let's have a look at this. There's on the F Roadster. Ah. Oh. The XJ220. How cool does that look? The dream, the F1 GT, which I actually saw good with 2015, and they only made three of these. Went to Japan, uh, America, and the Sultan of Brunei had one. How sick is that car model? Cool. So it's uh, coming to the end of a day with Chiro and Scoot, and I think we've had a pretty good day of it, haven't we? Amazing. Two venues, two future events in the bag for Petrol Hedonism ambassadors and of course members, fans, followers. We'll put it out there. Um, the event at the studio will be for a maximum of 60 people, 30 cars. So obviously that will go out to our ambassadors first. The ambassador program, you can find that information on www.petrolhedonism.club and uh, it's 30 pound it's going up to 40 pound on the first of march so get in there when you hear me say this on the video uh ambassador pack 30 pound right now you get a t-shirt you get a key ring you get a coaster it's all listed on there go check it out but you get discount codes for some of our supporters and you get priority invitations for something like the studio 434 visit but um yeah the warren estate check that out earlier for a future event and genuinely excited about everything that's coming together so nicely. So, Scoot, thanks for coming along for the ride. I'm sure you're pleased with the Bugattis and everything we saw in that collection just there. That is the biggest collection I've ever personally gone to. I know there's bigger collections, but Roger Duddy, 450 cars. You are currently at the top of my leaderboard. Luis, thank you so much. Aneta, thank you so much for your hospitality. Thanks for looking after us. Luis, don't eat all the donuts. I didn't have any. I'm still on my diet and you're going to see me get skinny. See you soon.